Hello my beautiful ladies, it's Greta here, Ladies Relationship Coach and today my beauties I have a bit of a cheeky topic for you although I think most of my topics are quite fun. Anyway, it is about five sales strategies that he is applying on the dates, okay? So make sure to listen to the end, not to fall for these little tricks and to know how to respond to these strategies so his attraction towards you increases. So the first and the most common strategy that guys are using on the dates is flattery and promises. Okay, so he will tell you how beautiful you are, how amazing you are, he has never met a girl like you before. And what he will do, he will be asking you questions about you, right? And then you will give him the information of what you like. He is gonna promise you the things that you like. So for example, if you will start sharing with him your dreams or the holidays that you want to go to, or something that you would like to do, he is gonna be like, oh, um, I can do it with you. Let's go to Thailand together. Let's, uh, let's do this together. I'm into this stuff too. So what he's doing here, he's giving you flattery and promises. Then he's taking the information from you, what you would like to hear, so he could give you the right answers to it. It's really it's really like a sales strategy. You know, if you are if you are a good salesperson, what you do first, you um, approach that person in a way that that person would like you and then you need to be interested in what that person wants so you can deliver it to them. And we as women, majority of us think like, oh my God, what a perfect match we are. You know, like he wants exactly the same things that I do want. He thinks I'm so beautiful. I'm the prettiest girl in the world. Don't be so naive, girls. Men are very logical with these strategies. They apply the strategies in dating that works, that we have used on the other girls before, we've seen it working on them, and now he's reapplying that strategy on you too. So how do you respond when the guy behaves like this? Just smile, enjoy the moment, appreciate the compliments, and don't show him your cards. Don't tell him that you understand his game, just kind of enjoy the moment and play along with it. Tell strategy number two that he might be using on you. When you start to date, um, he will show you that he is interested in you, but not but to bring his value up, he's gonna start hinting to you that there are lots of other women that are interested in him too. The reason why is, girls, if you think, for example, if you're going to a dentist and it's all, a dentist is always available, right? He never has any cues, right? You're not going to put that much value on that dentist, all right? Whereas if you're going to a dentist and he is, he has every single, you know, he's always booked, he's always packed, straight away you're putting more value on that dentist. You think like, oh my God, he's always booked, he must be really good. I really don't know why I'm using the dentist example, but it's a bit weird, but hey-ho. So ladies, in this case, when he is showing his interest in you, but also saying like, oh, so many women are pursuing me and I dated this supermodel and that supermodel and this actress and that actress and that whatever he has dated, the key is don't get insecure and don't start to pursue him while competing with the other women. If you will, if when he's mentioning these women, you will start to compete with those women and you will start to pursue him, you have lost the game. And he then won't even know which girl to choose, okay? Because guys love a woman who is a challenge that he needs to work hard for. Actually, ladies, please watch my video, um, Why Men Love a Woman Who is a Challenge, which you can find just by clicking this link right here. The third sales strategy that he might be using in you is, he's giving you a little bit here, he's giving you a little bit there, he's giving you a little bit here again, and then he closes the deal, 
okay? So, for example, he might send you a friend request, you being receptive, you accept it, you don't need to accept it straight away, but you, let's say, accept it. Then on Facebook, he starts, let's say, liking this picture and liking that picture and then making a comment, maybe what's, maybe sending you a message. So he's dropping little hints here and there and also taking his time doing it. So he's not too much in your face, but delivering just the right amount to keep you interested. Where the girls go wrong if they like the guy then the guy is giving you a little bit of attention. What the girls do when we really like a guy, they overtake him and we start to pursue him. So ladies, if he is giving you a little bit of attention here and there, stay patient, be receptive towards it, but really try not to overtake it. Again, as I said, guys like a woman who is a challenge. So if you will overtake him, you won't even give him a chance to chase you, to pursue you and to close the deal. Also ladies, look at it like this. Let him give you an offer for that date. Obviously, if the offer is not good enough, you just don't accept it. If it's good enough, enjoy the date. The, the sales strategy number four that he might be using on you is, ladies, Men are logical. They're not as emotional as we are. They're not as sensitive as we are. So if he is taking you on a date, if he's taking you to a nice place or a nice restaurant or anything nice, he most probably has taken there the other girls before you, okay? Please do not get offended by that. The way we think is, if I took a girl to this restaurant previously and this girl liked the food there, she was appreciative, great. I'm gonna take the next girl to exactly the same place. Because he tested it out, the girl has liked it, so why not to take the next girl to the same place? It only makes sense, right? Men are logical, do not take it personally. I know that us girls, we are way more emotional and we're making things special for different guys, but just look at it like men are logical and look at it like, okay, he took another girl before me here, he tested it out, now I feel really flattered because he tested it out with her, he saw that it's working with her, so now he is not testing it out with me, he's actually, uh, he's actually sure that it works and he took a risk with the other girl, whereas now he is, he knows that it works, he knows that the restaurant is good, so, you know, he's, he's not putting me into the rabbit position because another girl was the rabbit before me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, girls, just enjoy yourself. You know, like, don't question it, don't overthink it, don't get too emotional with it. He's taking you out on a date, doesn't matter who has he taken to the same restaurant before or the same place before. Enjoy the moment with him, try not to overthink it, don't get insecure, and that's it. So ladies, have you noticed that when he is asking you to go to a place, but you the one who suggests the place, and let's say you go to the place that you have suggested, most likely a guy will ask you, have you been here before? And when you say, yes, you have, then the next question, which usually goes from the guy's lips, who have you been here before with? Because in his mind, he's thinking, okay, I'm logical, so if it works with one girl, I'm gonna take another girl to the same place. So was this girl here with another guy before me, okay? Like, pay attention to what guys say. It's really interesting because that way you can literally read his cards. Okay, the fifth sales strategy that he might be using on you, if you are not that interested, okay? This is how it is, guys. You know, sometimes we listen to a song and we don't like it. Sometimes we see a product and we're like, oh, I'm not interested. But let's see, the advertisement, the social media keeps playing that song over and over and over again. And you hear it here, you hear it there, you hear it again, right? And then you start to kind of like it. 
when you see the same advert towards something even if you didn't like it before it's like keeps popping in front of your face and when you start to like it so the same goes with the guys if he knows this strategy what he's gonna do even if you're not that interested and he is aware that you're not interested what he will do he will start popping in like here and there let's see you're in a good mood he pops in with like a sweet message you're in a bad mood he again pops in, in a, with a sweet message and let's see you're not that interested in the guy a couple weeks later he pops in again when he pops in again he's like i'm here i'm here i'm here after a while guess what you want to buy the product you want to buy the song you want to go on a date with that guy you are more familiar with him he's giving you safety he's giving you security he's giving you charms and you're getting hooked doesn't work every single time but this is just another sales strategy that works with women so ladies if you liked this video please press like subscribe to my youtube channel let me know in the comments below what do you think join greta's high value women school where you are taught how to be high value by following my advice what you're learning from youtube videos also follow me on my instagram my instagram is called ladies relationship coach and if you would like me to hold your hand and help you to bring out the best in your man, you can always book me through my website, which is called, which is called ladiesrelationshipcoach.com. Thank you so much for watching, girls. Have a beautiful day. Kisses from London. Mwah.